This is how someone can make you addicted to them according to science. To understand romantic obsession or any kind of addiction, you have to understand how dopamine works. Dopamine is your brain's go-getter. It doesn't get released when you're happy and content with your life and relaxed. It kicks in when something's new and exciting. It pushes you to explore, to chase, to desire something unfamiliar and what you don't have. This is why the early stages of love feel so exciting and that person is tri triggering that dopamine release. It's because everything is new and exciting. You might feel anxious because you don't know if you're going to be with this person, what's going to happen. However, studies show that it's normal for the longing and craving for the other person to decrease over time. A healthy relationship triggers other chemicals, such as oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins. These are chemicals that make you feel content and happy in the present moment, while dopamine makes you chase. However, that only happens when love is two-sided, when love is mutual, when love is healthy and it's stable. However, in unhealthy relationships, in one-sided kind of love, in toxic relationships, in roller coasters, you know, that's when dopamine gets released. That's when you have this roller coaster of emotions because you're still chasing something. Remember this, you can't crave something that you already have. The person that is making you feel addicted to them cannot actually be yours you know, for you to be addicted to them or crave them or for dopamine to kick in. They need to be unavailable. They need to be one-sided, you know, only you love them, they don't reciprocate. Or maybe they are there, but the, they're not offering you stability or, you know, they're not making you feel loved or appreciated or they give you breadcrumbs, you know, and they give you like, these little glimpses of love, you know, so you don't even know when you're gonna get it, if you're gonna get it, how you're gonna get it. So they're like those gambling machines, you know, that you never know, are you gonna get it? Are you not gonna get it? So that's how addiction gets created. There's something in psychology called partial reward schedule. They need to be giving you something inconsistently and infrequently. And this is exactly what happens with love addictions. You are getting so much dopamine just from the anticipation of getting even a little breadcrumb, you know, that it becomes so pleasurable when you get it. But the reason why it's so pleasurable is one, the anticipation and dopamine gets created in the anticipation actually, not when you get it the most. And then also because the lows are so low that it makes the highs seem way, way higher because you're traveling this maybe double distance compared to a stable relationship where there's good moments, if that makes sense. Studies show that the addictive qualities of love or obsession can also come into play during breakups or when someone experiences romantic rejection. And there's a study that shows that the brain parts that get activated during drug cravings also get activated during rejection. So now that you understand how dopamine and cravings and addiction works, you can be more careful when choosing someone that is taking you through this roller coaster of emotions, someone that's unavailable. It's really important for you now to do a dopamine detox to stop chasing dopamine. Be careful not to get caught in this chase for dopamine and to instead go to stable relationships, relationships that make you feel safe and comfort, relationships that trigger chemicals that make you appreciate the here and now, such as oxytocin and endorphins instead of dopamine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any questions and you want a personalized video response for them, you can join my Patreon community. Bye.